All right, y'all, let's talk a little bit about Herschel Walker here. Formal, former football star, he's running for U.S. Senate in Georgia, and he's had a rough go of it the past week or two. So this story I'm sure most of you guys have heard about by now, but uh, a bunch of he has a bunch of secret kids that uh, we just learned about. Now, look, normally I wouldn't say a word about this. I don't really care about the private lives of candidates or politicians, but... In his case, it's different because he goes around talking about how a big problem in the black community is, you know, fatherless homes. And he's created quite a few of them, to say the least. So this is in Slate. How many secret children can Herschel Walker reveal before he's in real trouble? They say, former football star Herschel Walker is the Republican candidate for Senate in Georgia, a nomination he won after building a profile as a right-wing personality in the last decade or so. Like other conservatives, Walker sometimes describes problems in the black U.S. population as the consequence of individual failings rather than structural discrimination, and as a habit in particular of criticizing black men who create fatherless homes by abandoning their children. Walker's 22-year-old son, Christian, is himself a right-wing social media personality, and Walker has spoken about his close relationship with Christian when discussing family-related topics. On June 14th, though, the Daily Beast reported that Walker has a 10-year-old son whom he does not see and whom he does, did not legally acknowledge until being taken to court. Then on June 15th, that's one day after June 14th, the Daily Beast reported that Walker has a 13-year-old son, son as well. In confirming this, Walker's campaign also disclosed that he has a daughter, daughter who is about 40 years old. Okay, so now by the way, uh, Christian is a fascinating case. Um, that's Herschel's son who he actually talks to and is in his life. And uh, Christian is a right-wing social media star, but also very flamboyantly gay, which is an interesting mix, <laughs> if you ask me. Uh, but there are three other kids who Herschel uh, allegedly doesn't see. So he is the problem that he talks about. Now, this is actually the, not the main reason I wanted to talk about Herschel Walker here. I'm just catching you up on one of the scandals that he dealt with recently. Again, I, I wouldn't care about this if he wasn't such a massive hypocrite, but his hypocrisy makes this noteworthy. Uh, but today, we get this. So this is, um, Herschel went on the Clay, Travis, and Buck Sexton show. By the way, this is like, this is a picture right out of a frat house, isn't it? This right here. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Anyway, all right, so let's see. Uh, he's going after Stacey Abrams here for some comments that she made about Georgia ranking last in health care. And there's a lot to say about this one. Support the police. We got to support our men and women in blue. Like it or not, they they work for so much little, yet they do so much, and you don't want to. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to be a dick. I'm just going to keep it playing. They work for so much little. Support them, and I said that is a problem. I want people of Georgia to know that. If you want to get this Georgia back together, you want to get this country back together. You got to vote for people that believes in this country. And if you don't believe in the country, leave and go somewhere else. If it's the worst state, why are you why are you here? Why don't you leave? Go to another. That's what, 51 more other states you can go to. You don't have to be here. Wow. Wow. It's 51 other states you can go to. You don't have to be here. By the way, again, he's responding to Stacey Abrams uh, talking about how Georgia is the worst state for health care. Now... I don't think she's just saying this as a matter of opinion. I think she's citing some sort of official statistics in some specific healthcare category. And, you know, you bring it up if you are trying to fix the problem. And Herschel's response is, you don't like our healthcare? Well, then just leave our state. Why don't you just leave our state? I mean, look, I could be an asshole and focus on the 51 more other states comment. <laughs> I'm going to reel it in a little bit and not be so big of an asshole. But to me, the thing that's the most annoying is the insistence that, like, what, if you don't think everything in Georgia is already number one, then you don't love Georgia, and so you should leave the state? I mean, that's a recipe for not fixing any problems ever. It's the equivalent of, like, loving your kid by not ever trying to help them improve. And if they're doing crystal meth behind a dumpster in the back of an Arby's, you know, you berate anybody who says, hey, maybe we should get you some help and, like, go to rehab and sort of get your life together. And it's, no, how dare you? How dare you say that? 
I'm perfect just as I am. So it's a weird flex as a politician to say, just leave the state if you don't like our health care. What? But if it's ranked literally the worst in certain respects, shouldn't you as a politician want to fix that? And the answer is no, because what he would rather do is lecture um, black households where there's no father, which is like exactly what he did in his life multiple times. So Jesus Christ, let's run this back one more time. This is particularly bad. And it did remind me of something else that I'll, I'll play for you guys in a second. Support the police. We got to support our men and women in blue. Like it or not, they, they work for so much little, yet they do so much, and you don't want to support them. And I said, that is a problem. I want people of Georgia to know that. If you want to get this Georgia back together, you want to get this country back together, you got to vote for people that believes in this country. And if you don't believe in the country, leave and go somewhere else. If it's the worst state, <laughs> why, are you, why are you here? Why don't you leave? Go to another. That's what, 51 more other states you can go to. You don't have to be here. <laughs> this reminds me of when people criticize the Iraq war and conservatives who were pro-war would say, we'll just leave the country then. Just leave the country. Uh, or they say, you don't support the troops? You say, no, I, I want to end the wars. Oh, I guess you don't support the troops. It's just such a disingenuous response. Anyway, I have to admit, this 51 other states line did remind me of this. Uh, because, you know, it is just wonderful to be back in Oregon. And over the last 15 months, we've traveled uh, to every corner of the United States. Uh, I've now been in 57 states. I think one left to go. Uh, one left to go. Uh, Alaska and Hawaii I was not allowed to go to, even though I really wanted to visit, but my staff would not uh, justify it. There you go. That's quite a gaffe. Uh, because, you know, it, it is just wonderful to be back in Oregon, and over the last 15 months we've traveled uh, to every corner of the United States. Uh, I've now been in 57 states. I think one left. <laughs> the thing that makes us particularly bad is that he, like, stresses the number 57 states so i brought this up i was talking to crystal about this i thought it was 58 as you can see i google search 58 here um i brought this up to crystal when i saw the herschel walker thing i was like oh that reminds me of when obama said i thought it was 58 but i guess 57 states and her response was yeah but that was genuinely a gaffe for obama it's like a one-off thing because he's obviously Agree or disagree with him, and obviously I think he's a neoliberal corporatist, so I don't agree with him. Uh, he is intelligent. Like, he's an intelligent person. He reps a philosophy that I find abhorrent, but he's an intelligent person. Whereas with Herschel Walker, it seems like the 51 states comment is like, any random Tuesday, it could come out. So, yeah, I mean, I think that's a fair point. Um, look, don't underestimate him. <laughs> I mean, if there's one thing I know for sure about this country... We have um, a cult around celebrity, and he has achieved celebrity. And as they go on to say in this article here, um, his very next appearance after all these, like, secret kids came out was at some evangelical Christian conference, and they gave him a roaring ovation when he showed up. So they don't really care about hypocrisy. They don't care about hypocrisy. As long as you're saying the things they want to hear— you could be guilty of those things as well, but they're still going to welcome you with open arms. And so these are not the types of scandals in today's day and age that bring somebody down. And I think everybody should keep that in mind.